Well, hello. Hello. How you doing? I am fine, thank you. Well, I am starting a weekly webisode called Things You'd Like to Ask My 92-Year-Old Nana. And this is the first episode, so why don't we start with the basics. How about we start with your name? You have to have my name. <laughs> you know my name. You're my grandson. Tell the millions of viewers that are going to be watching this. My name is Peg Wells. Okay. And where are you from? I'm from Salve, New York. Yeah? You were born here? I was born here, yes. And have you lived here all your life? No. Where else have you lived? We lived in Fayetteville, and we have lived in North Syracuse. Okay. What is the most impactful change you have seen in Syracuse since you... what? The most impactful change you have seen in Syracuse since you've been here. Impactful. Oh. <laughs> the way that it's gone down from a merchandising center to I don't know what it is now, but it certainly doesn't have the stores and the restaurants that used to be there, especially around Christmas time. We all used to go down there on the trolley cars at that time, and we would go up one side of Salina Street, looking at the, just the windows would be decorated so beautifully. Yeah. And down the other side. Okay. Um, do you think Destiny USA has had an impact on that? Our mall, our big stupid well, mall? It certainly <laughs> has. It's it's taken all the merchant uh, the merchandise, or not merchandise, but the stores and everything, restaurants and what have you, away from the, the areas, uh, the mall areas, the small mall areas now are having trouble. Kind of like a monopoly. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's very interesting. Um, so let's start with some easy things, some light, light conversation. How about what kind of activities did you do as a child? As a child? Oh my goodness, that that's ninety-two years ago, honey. I know. <laughs> that's what the world wants well, to know. We had no, we had nothing that you could buy at that time except for a bicycle or roller skates. So no toys. Which we couldn't afford. That was the depression, and there was no money. So we okay. would play games like kick the can. <laughs> uh, we would uh, play baseball in the streets, football. Uh, we would play games. In the street, truly, and the pe and our neighbors never bothered us. Right, they were glad to have us there. Okay, um, on a on a more serious note, what was the depression like? The depression was such that my father, who worked forty hours, uh, couldn't. Well, there wasn't that much in pay. So on the weekends, he would go out to Lakeland where there were all farms. Mm -hmm. And he would ask the farmers if he could go through their lands in the autumn to see if he could find any vegetables, cabbage, tomatoes, turnips, uh, anything that was uh, available. Then he'd bring it back and my mother would cook it up for soup. So... What would you say you ate the most of when you were a child? Soup. What, what kind of foods? Then? And potatoes. Potatoes. Mm -hmm. All the time potatoes? Uh, my mother would have potatoes for lunch and for dinner. Oof. How was that? I don't like potatoes to this day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. What about uh, like drinks back in the day? Was there soda? No, we never had soda. No soda. Never soda. It was just either water or... We did have milk, though, thank okay. God. The milkman would deliver the milk in the morning. And right. uh, we did have milk. What about uh, family events? Did you ever... Was there your fa like a radio show? Anything like that that you guys all... There were no... We didn't have... We didn't have... In my, when I was a little girl... We did not have radios. Okay. If the, the woman across the street was a little wealthier than I, and we would go and listen to her outside her window, 
at night to some of the programs that were on. Okay. We didn't have anything like that. What was it? That's very interesting. Um, what was it like? I'm gonna word this right. How? When did you guys get your first television? Oh, television. Well, I mean, we could keep talking about radios, but I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. uh, the television we got that after I was married. Uh, in '44. Wait a minute. That's not when my first television. We got it at about, about 1950. 1950. Mm -hmm. And what was your favorite show? I was working and there weren't <laughs> any favorite shows. <laughs> All right, fair I enough. I think musicals, people that were like the men, Perry Como and, and those people that okay. would sing and had programs, they were my favorite. Okay. All right. Um... How about school? How is school different back then as opposed to now? Well, the children today have more subject matter than we did. We were more or less put into arithmetic English and foreign languages and stuff like that. But we didn't, there was a shop. The boys took electricity and the girls took sewing but we didn't have the uh, other things that you children go in for now. Was it the same? Did you Were, the, were there grades? Was it like first grade, second grade, third grade, or was yes, it just a it's school? Yes, uh, kindergarten through 12th, right? Okay. How was your senior year like? Wonderful. <laughs> I loved school. <laughs> we started, there was a small class. We started in 19, uh, whatever, <laughs> and uh, we stayed as a group all the way through grammar school, intermediate school, and high school. I have a story to tell you about school. May I? You may. Ours was the last graduating class in January 1942. Okay. Pearl Harbor was bombed in December of 41. Okay. Our graduating class of 42, there was only one boy that attended. The, all the other boys had left to go to the war. And they all were at Pearl Harbor? Three quarters of them passed away okay. and were dead. And uh, we never had a class reunion until about <laughs> 10 years ago. Wow. And we had that class reunion with the... Um, summer class they graduated but it wasn't the same we all thought of the boys that never came back what were you doing when pearl harbor got bombed when you found out it was a sunday okay and my mother and dad were listening to the radio they couldn't believe it they said this is another crazy program <laughs> and so they they called all the children in and we listened and we said, this is no program. This is for real. Yeah. Okay. That must have been pretty scary. It was scary. Kind of like uh, the 9-11 events for me when I was in college. Right. Yeah. That's right. You don't believe. Well, there we didn't have television then. But we, you didn't believe what you heard. I can understand that. I feel like back in the day, the government was just, you just believed anything they said. Exactly. When I saw the 9-11 on television, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> yeah. I could not believe that anybody would do such a thing. Yeah. Yeah, that was a pretty crazy event in our lifetime. Um, it's crazy, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, all right. How about uh, back to a little, like, lighter. Well, what was your first rebellious act? Could, it, be, could be against your parents. Could be as against a child. Or... Yeah. Your first rebellious act. Honey, you didn't have any rebellious acts as a children today of. Your parents told you <laughs> to sit, and you sat. Why was that? Because we were obedient. And what happens if you weren't obedient? We would be sent upstairs, or we'd get our backsides paddled. <clears throat> really? Too bad that's not a thing anymore, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I 
don't know the children of today. I, I think the children of today have no responsibility whatsoever. There are good children, don't get me wrong. Yeah. There are good children. But it seems that the very few that aren't seem to attract the attention of the, the, the newspapers and the videos and also the uh, television. Yeah, I agree. It's all about uh, social media these days and tele television and stuff like that. It's sad. Um, it is sad. I feel like uh, my generation was one of the last generations that grew up with respect for their families. Uh, nowadays, people would rather flip you off That's and true. say hi, you know? That's true. Um, all right, well, let's do one more for today. Um, make it a nice quick one. Okay. What are your thoughts on Donald Trump running for president? <laughs> Must I tell you? Oh, you must. <laughs> <laughs> How do, do these committees dare to put people on as president who have had no possible background in this field? <laughs> Plus the fact that they all come from wealth. Yeah. They don't know what the middle class needs as well as what they want. Okay. And... I don't understand their logic. I really don't. In fact, I got a uh, election notice today, mm -hmm. a ballot, mm -hmm. and I don't know how to answer them. <laughs> <laughs> well, he brings up some good points. Um, uh, what do you think of the wall he wants to build? The wall? Yeah, he wants to build a wall between the United States and Mexico so the legal immigrants stop coming in. You say he? Who's he? Donald Trump. That's, he probably got the contractor is all I can say. <laughs> what do you think about him bailing out the national debt with his own money? He won't do that. He it's won't do that. What happy person would think that he would do that? <laughs> Has he given any money so far? You know, i got to be honest, I don't know. I just know that I think it's pretty ridiculous that he's running for president. <laughs> Well, most of them not. Or how about the man that has the television, uh, owns a television station, bomb or something? I don't, I don't know. know what his name is. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not. This is the first year I, I haven't been interested in the politics because of the people running in them. I Do think you, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Do you think we really elect the president? Mm -mm. No. No. Good. And on that note, that's been. Things you'd like to ask my 92-year-old Nana. We'll see you next week. I think this is interesting little hobby for you. <laughs>